Welcome back. As promised, let's get chatting with the management of Electronic Marts India. Electronic Smart, uh, the stock currently under a wee bit of pressure, but no real worries. It was a big mover in yesterday's trading session, and a large part of that could be attributed to the Edelweiss note, or erstwhile Edelweiss, now Nuwama note, that came in, initiating coverage on the stock with a target price of 237, in indicating an upside of nearly 36, 37% from current levels itself, the way they expect you know, the robust cash flow coming in from Telangana to support expansion into NCR. And that exactly has been the story that we've been discussing with the management of the company in the past few interactions that we've had as well, expanding into NCR itself. Prem Chand Devarkonda, who's the Chief Financial Officer at Electronic Smart India, now joins us. Thanks a lot, Mr. Devarkonda, for joining in. We've had this conversation about you expanding your presence into NCR, increasing your per store revenue out there as well. But, you know, for now, why? Uh, just wanted to understand how the third quarter has been for you. Largely because, one, it is uh, a significant chunk of your revenues that comes in, festive season, etc. And secondly, we've also seen, you know, post-Andhra elections. Has there been any sort of optimism? What can we expect in the second half of this year? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, see, this festive season is quite promising. So there has been a double digit growth as compared to last year. So during, I mean, season to season. Uh, and also this quarter is on the track. Like uh, we have seen decent growth coming in from uh, the clusters like Andhra Pradesh and rest of Telangana. Since in, in Hyderabad, if you look at Hyderabad as a cluster, so since the base is very high, so the growth is in single digit, whereas in other clusters, the growth has been quite significant. That means it was more than 20% during the festive period. That means one month period. And in fact, in Delhi is also on the growth path. So there we could see more than 40% growth during the festive period. Mr. Devrakonda, good afternoon. Thank you for joining in. Since you mentioned this, now how do you expect the second half of the year to be? Because your first half saw your same store sales growth at 6%, revenue growth at 13%. Do you expect to remain on a similar trajectory considering the fact that the third quarter accounts for a larger chunk of the revenue along with the first quarter? So do you expect to do better numbers than what you did in the first half or around similar lines? It will be more or less in the similar lines. Uh, and also it is subject to that uh, summer setting in. Like normally mm -hmm. in uh, the uh, clusters in Hyderabad and Telangana, Andhra Pradesh clusters. So if summer starts sometime in the second half of the March, so definitely there would be much better growth we are expecting. But if summer is delayed, uh, it will be more or less uh, in the same lines like for the first half year. It will be very interesting to, you know, find out what kind of sales you are seeing in uh... New Delhi, especially when it comes to air purifiers, given the sort of AQI that there is there. But, uh, you know, from a sustainable revenue, EBITDA and net profit growth parameters, what is it that one should work with? Because, you know, this note that I'm alluding to coming in from Nuwama, they expect revenue compounding of over 21% for the next three years. The first half of this year, your revenue growth has been just around 13%. You expect the second half to be similar to the first half itself. So, obviously, this revenue growth will be back-ended. Um, do you think this 21% growth is uh, uh, is uh, sustainable and achievable? And if you can break that down, how much of that will come in via SSSG and how much of that will come in via new store edition? See, our target is actually, let us be conservative. So we are expecting uh, around 15% year-on-year top-line growth. So out of which about uh, uh, 6 to 8% will be coming in um, from as a same store growth. Because uh, we opened almost uh, uh, 60 stores in the last couple of years, which are maturing currently, and there is decent uh, uh, growth coming in from those stores. So that's why the blended at the company level, the SSG will be around uh, uh, 6 to 8%, and overall uh, top line growth will be around 15%. That is for this year. And the next couple of years? Yeah, yeah, that is going to be the okay. scenario. So if Delhi, uh, that cluster does exceedingly well, so it it might improve by another three percentage points. That means it might go up to 18%. So that is our target, like between 15 and 18%.
Mm. What are your target for adding more stores uh, this time around, Mr. Devrakonda, in the second half of the year? And maybe if you could share a number for the next year as well. And how do you plan on doing that when it comes to geographical diversi uh, diversity? You want to do it more in metros, you want to do it more in tier two cities. Or, uh, and how do you plan on doing it? More company owned stores, or do you even aspire to do the franchise route as well? First of all, uh, we are not looking at franchising model, that is ruled out. Uh, coming to that uh, store edition, so before end of this uh, financial year, we will be adding at least uh, 12 to 15 stores, uh, out of which about uh, six stores will be in uh, Delhi cluster, and the remaining will be the existing clusters, that means AP Telangana. Uh, in AP Telangana, now we are looking at the tier three and four cities as well. So there we have a lot of uh, scope for, uh, I mean, this, there is a decent market as well as uh, we can uh, see decent, uh, I mean, economy is also growing in those uh, uh, see, smaller towns. So because they're predominantly agriculture dependent uh, places. So that's why out of 10 to 12 uh, stores, which are going to be added this year, six will be in Metro and the remaining will be in the tier three and four cities. And for the next year, we are targeting uh, another 25 stores, of which uh, about six to eight stores will be in NCR, and the balance will be in the existing clusters. Uh, and we have been uh, exploring the other markets, so peripherals of Delhi, uh, like Western UP, uh, Haryana, Punjab, and, uh, and our teams are aggressively working and uh, gathering the market in information. So uh, maybe we will take a call in the first quarter of the next year. So to expand our operations beyond uh, NCR and AP Telangana. All right, then before we let you go, one final question, and this is a two-part question. One is on NCR itself. You had earlier said that you are, you are expecting uh, NCR to scale up to the same metrics when it comes to revenues as South India. I wanted to know where does that number stand at right now? And... By when do you expect NCR, at least on a revenue front, to be similar to the South? And the second part is margins, because NCR is a lot more competitive. Obviously, the margins in NCR will be a lot lower than what it is in the South. And increasingly, your revenue share from smaller appliances, mobiles, etc., low margin products is increasing as well. So what is a sustainable margin target that one should look at? Two part question, one on NCR scaling up, secondly, sustainable margins. NCR definitely on the growth path. So there has been year on year 50% growth. I mean, not exactly 50%, it's about 45% uh, till now. And the same trend would continue next year also. So because we are planning uh, the new stores which are coming up in the uh, like uh, bigger markets in NCR. So we are expecting at least, I mean, the trend would continue in the next year also, around 40% growth coming in from the NCR. Uh, coming to the uh, economies of scale, definitely NCR is little expensive as compared to the South cluster, uh, but we were prepared for it. So the blend, uh, we always look at the uh, company level blended EBITDA, which should be maintained around uh, above 7.7%. So that could be as long as we achieve that. So we are comfortably positioned. So if you look at NCR as standalone uh, uh, business, so there uh, the EBITDA levels will be little lesser. This year it might be around four or five percent. So I'm a little optimistic. So if it is above four, we are comfortably positioned in NCR. And there is definitely. Uh, NCR is, since it is a bigger market, like the market size is twice the size of Hyderabad. So if the store throughput improves, like if it comes, uh, I mean, if it uh, reaches the level as we have been operating in uh, Hyderabad cluster, which is uh, on an average, we are getting about 70 crores uh, throughput per store. So once we reach that level, NCR uh, will be on par with the rest of the clusters. All right, Mr. Devrakonda, thank you so much for sparing time, joining us to talk about your road ahead as well. Wish you good luck for the mm -hmm. second half of the year. The street likes what you said because the stock has moved into the green as the conversation went around from the lows of the day, currently at 180. Time for a short break. Up next, Ashish Kyal of Wave Strategy Advisors joins in with some trading strategies and a chart check on the market. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.